All right, welcome to the video, guys. And in this video, we're gonna learn how to recognize a voice using Python. <laughs> yeah, you got me. So basically, uh, I have an audio clip, and I'm gonna do a voice recognition, and I'm gonna try to convert that voice into an audio using Python. So let's get into action without talking much, okay? So I'm gonna show you a a file first of all. It's a WAV file. So I'm gonna play that first for you. The stale smell of old beer lingers. It takes heat to bring out the odor. A cold dip restores health and zest. A salt pickle is fine with me. Tacos al pastor are my favorite. A zestful food is the hot cross bun. All right. Enough of your that shit. All right, so we have a voice. Uh, I mean, we have a WAV file. That's an audio file, and we would like to convert it into a text using Python. So let's do that. So first of all, if you are on IntelliJ, you have to uh, import certain libraries. That is, so of course, import speech recognition, SSR. All right, as usual, and then we need to create an object uh, for the recognizer. So I do that. So first of all, I'm importing the library that is speech recognition as SR. Then you need to create an object of that um, uh, uh, speech recognition. I'm sorry. Then what I'm going to do is basically I need to um, specify the path of that file, right? So in this case, I'm going to create a variable. Harvard equals to SR dot audio file. So basically we are using an audio file. Okay. And inside that file, you're going to type the name of the file. In this case, this is harvard.wav in single quotes, of course. And uh, we are going to try to open that with harvard as, as source. So what I'm going to do is audio equals to r dot record r dot record and whatever the source of the file in that case this is this would be source so i'm just gonna paste it here because i'm lazy to type code and after this so that's it that, that that's all we are done so whatever we are doing is basically we are importing the speech recognition library i'm creating an object that uh, okay and harvard equals to that object from that library audio file because I'm using an audio file right then with Harvard that is this file with this file as source so the name is source audio equals to r dot record source so it will be recording source and now I just need to print whatever it recorded so I do print r dot recognize in this case uh, in this I'm using a Google recognition API so recognition underscore Google and on what on on audio right that's it that's all so now let's run this program and see if this if it works or not so debug run so it will take a while if you see it takes about four seconds maybe so yep it did the job for you so okay now this is not readable right now so let me do val equals to I will not recognize it. Recognize, sorry, Google. And I'm going to pass in audio. Then for, da oops, for data in, well, print data, just to make sure that there is string. Alright, so that's pretty much it. I sh this should work. Let's see. It did work. So basically, it traded everything in a new line instead of that. Uh, yeah, so that's it. So, okay. And I can do a new line to print a new line. Let's see if this works. You should get the sentence. Um, yep. The stale smell of an old beer lingers at whatever. So I can just open it and I can just confirm that this is the uh, only one just to make sure. Alright, so where is that audio? 
Hold on. The stale smell of old beer lingers. See? It takes heat to bring out the odor. A cold dip restores all of its zest. Alright, can I go back? So that's it for this video. We did that. So we converted it in an audio into a uh, into a text using Python. That is a speech recognition using a speech recognition um, uh, module. So the way, if you do, if you find an error using this code, the way you uh, import this library is if you go to if you're using an IntelliJ, go to import settings, or if you're using a PyCharm, please do that the same thing. So go to file, go to project structures. Okay, go to SDKs, go to packages. The plus icon on the right hand side and type the speech recognition. Oops, my bad. So just basically type speech recognition and it should basically uh, pop up. Yep, speech recognition. You can download this. Or else, what you can do is open CMD. Right? So you know what to do, right? Pip, install and speech recognition, still the same thing. So these are the two ways how, how you can install this library if you're finding an error. This code will be there in the description. Um, as usual, thank you very much for your support, love and everything. If you like this video and you learn something new and if you, uh, if you learn something new, give me a like on this video, do share this video with your friends. There are a lot of videos on my site regarding Python. Um, that's it for this video and I hope to see you guys next time. Have your questions, please post your questions in the comment section. And I will try my best to get back soon. To get back soon, as soon as possible. To get back to you as soon as possible, I mean. Alright, that's it. Thank you very much.